everyone, and welcome back to Spooky Book Club. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, uh, that was like a full demon voice just then, which is actually so appropriate for this month. So I apologize to you guys for falling off the face of the earth in September. What's weird is I totally planned on doing it up until the very end of September. I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna do a quick, maybe we'll just do a short story kind of thing. And, um... Yeah, it just didn't happen. Anyways, uh, we're here. We're doing Spooky Book Club. It's October. If you're new here, welcome. Sorry about my babbling. We didn't do September. It was a whole disaster. I felt like I needed to say something at least. Anyways, if you're new here, what we usually do is uh, every month, I try to do it around the 7th. I know it's after the 7th at this point, but um, every month, regardless, except for last month, but that, w w I'm not really selling this Spooky Book Club thing, am I? <laughs> All right, so what we typically do around here what I try to do is every single month around the 7th, I will announce two spooky book options. I read them off to you, have also the links to the books in the description box as well as the descriptions. Um, by the way, the links are Amazon affiliate links. Just wanted to be totally transparent. They're there for your convenience. You do not have to use them. I do appreciate the support as always, but if you don't wanna use them or if you wanna get your book from the library, if it's offered there or wherever you wanna get your spooky books, I will have the, the name of the book and the author down in the description box as well. So anyways, okay. So I'll announce the spooky book options for the month. And then after I announce the spooky book options, you can vote for which spooky book you want to read over on the community tab here on YouTube. So um, if you go to the community tab, it's like on my main page and you'll see on my front page, they'll have little tabs. It'll say home, playlist, um, and then it'll say community. If you click that community tab, you'll see the poll there, which will have the picks for the month. So you can vote for which book you want to read. You can of course read both books, no problem. Whichever book wins will be the book that we review and discuss the next month. Before I get into this though, I do wanna give a disclaimer just in case you're new here. We read pretty scary, somewhat disturbing, depends on the book. Some books are more disturbing or scarier than others. So I like to let you know that. Definitely check out the descriptions of each book and read some non-spoiler reviews to see if it's something that you'd feel comfortable reading. So just want to say reader beware. Definitely um, give the descriptions a read. If you do not feel comfortable reading any of the books chosen for the month, there's the Spooky Book Club over on the Facebook group where people suggest all sorts of books. Also, you can go to previous Spooky Book Club videos and read any of the books that you haven't read yet. Um, those are all suggestions I have for you just in case. So I want everyone to feel welcome here and have a good time reading spooky books. So, so just wanted to put that out there. Reader beware. Since spooky book club disappeared into the void in September, I figured I would make it up to you spooky family by reading two spooky books in October. I'm going to kind of break them up a little bit. One book is going to be kind of like a classic spooky book that we read around here. And then we'll do an optional little section. So you don't have to read the second book if you don't want to, but I figured since it's Halloween time, it's October, it's our season, I figured I'd include a little, like a couple of Halloween anthology book options. So um, we'll do our classic book club book options and then the optional Halloween anthology book options. Spooky book option number one for October is called Haunted Perron Manor. Perron? Perrin? Maybe it's Perron. Manor by Lee Mountford. So Lee Mountford, I read a book, I think it was one of our book options that didn't win months ago called The Demonic. And it was a quick read, but it was pretty terrifying. I mean, it. I feel like it needed a little something more, but the thing that I really like about Lee Mountford or what I've read so far, I love this author's ability, like the way that everything's described. It's so easy to picture exactly what's happening. It's just so vivid. It reads like a movie. So I wanted to include this because first of all, it sounds like a good book, but second of all, The Demonic was actually scary in my opinion. Like there was a whole shower scene. If you read that book, The Demonic, and you know the shower scene, it was very disturbing, very old. Like it still gets under my skin. So if I really want to make sure we read some scary books, for October and I know this author is capable of it. So here's the description for Haunted, we're calling it Perrin Manor, maybe Perron, but we're gonna call it Perrin Manor. Here we go, here's the description from Amazon. It says that sisters Sarah and Chloe inherit a house they could have never previously dreamed of owning. It seems too good to be true. Shortly after they move in, however, the siblings start to notice strange things. 
horrible smells, sudden drops in temperature, as well as unexplained sounds and feelings of being watched. All of that is compounded when they find a study upstairs filled with occult items and a strange book written in Latin. Their experiences grow more frequent and more terrifying, building towards a heart-stopping climax where the sisters come face to face with the evil behind Perron Manor, or Perron Manor. Will they survive and save their very souls? Wait, I don't say that differently. Will they survive and save their very souls? So excited about this one because it sounds like another kind of demonic situation, but very different than the demonic book, like not the same kind of story. That is spooky book option number one. Book option number two for October, this one is called One Crooked Thing by Timothy Roderick. And uh, this one has, the, the reviews are kind of what pulled me in on this one. I keep seeing this one popping up. The reviews are great. And I, the cover looks really awesome and spooky. There's something about the reviews where people said it was really creepy and that it's a page turner and it's one of those you shouldn't read before bed and all of those things got me all excited because it's October. We got to go all in. We got to go with the spooky books. So um, this one sounds more of like a horror crime kind of thing. So here's the description from Amazon. Here we go. It says, what you don't know can kill you. Something sinister has followed Ren Larson home through the dark winding roads of Los Angeles. Since he began investigating a series of murders, it has made its presence known. It murmurs in shadowed hallways. It watches from mirrors and whispers to his six-year-old child. It waits. His doctor says he's got a case of war nerves. His housekeeper warns of a malevolent spirit, maybe only folklore from her Caribbean childhood. But no one can stop the foul thing, she says, until it devours the soul for which it hungers. A soul that has ripened with a secret sin. But both sound pretty scary and uh, dark. So those are the two spooky book options for October. Now we're going to get into the optional ones. These are uh, two spooky Halloween anthology books. So book option number one and this spooky Halloween anthology book section optional spooky book club section. Uh, this one is called This is Halloween. And I can't say it like that. I'm, this is Halloween. Like, I can't just not do it. Okay, this is Halloween by James A. Moore. It says here in the description from Amazon, a man learns of a town's obsession with scarecrows and tries to find the answers as to why they are so important. Children move through familiar streets and find that Halloween makes everything different. Tis the season where ghosts are real, Witches soar through the night, and things in the Beldum Woods are not always what they seem. Sometimes it's the monsters that wear the masks. Sounds really good. This sounds really good. Um, so that's book option number one for the optional Halloween anthology books. Uh, that's option number one. Book option number two, I've seen this one around, and I've been really wanting to read it. I think last year I almost included it in Spooky Book Club, but I didn't end up including it, um, or did I? And we didn't vote for it? I can't remember. I just keep seeing this one, and it sounds really good. This one's called Dead Leaves, uh, Nine Tales from the Witching Season uh, by Keelan, Keelan Patrick Burke. And here's the description from Amazon. Strange text messages pretend a strange kind of apocalypse. Two brothers find themselves drawn to the only house in the neighborhood not decorated for Halloween. A man returns to his hometown to bury his overbearing mother, and finds more than memories awaiting him in the shadows of his childhood home. A young girl walks a lonely country road, recalling a rhyme that brings with it memories of death. A teenager hoping for romance gets more than he bargained for when the object of his desire introduces him to the object of hers. An aged millionaire wakes buried in a cheap coffin with only a lamp and a bell for company. The son, that one sounds really interesting, I'm not gonna lie. The son of a woman accused of being a witch accepts the villager's peace offering at her funeral, but all is not quite as it seems. A woman with a violent past realizes that this year's Halloween party may be coming for her, and a lonely trick-or-treater awakens in a house rumored to be a place of death. That is book option number two for the Halloween anthology series uh, Dead Leaves. So you can head over to the community tab right now and you can vote for which books you want to read for October. I will have the October spooky book options in one poll and I will have the optional Halloween anthology books in another poll. So make sure you look for both polls so you can vote for which one you want to read. If you want to read both, you can read both. I'll announce both winners on the community tab here on YouTube and also 
on the Facebook page, the uh, Spooky Book Club Facebook page, which I'll have linked down in the description box for you. And um, that's what we're gonna do. Anyways, that is it. Those are the book options for October. I hope you're having an amazing October so far, and I hope you had an amazing September. Sorry again for completely falling into the void of September. So I uh, hope this makes up for it by having a, some spooky Halloween stories for you guys. So anyways, whatever you want to chit chat about down in the comments, what have you been reading? What have you been up to? Um, have you been enjoying reading during the fall? I am so ready for the cooler weather. It's been so freaking hot here. I can't wait to make a hot cup of coffee and read a spooky book. I'm so excited. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.